Innovating Education Learning World in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation. Cheap and accessible, could online higher education ever replace the real life experience? We look at how one campus is stepping up to the challenge. For those schools that adapt, online learning can actually enhance education and help reduce tuition. Brigham Young University in Idaho looks much like any other campus, but BYU has undergone a real metamorphosis. All the programs have been revamped thanks to online learning. The costs and tuition fees are now steady and the number of students has increased from 11,000 in 2002 to today's 18,000. Students use the library, which offers books and a place to study, but many students are also bringing the classroom with them, using a laptop to take an online course. It allows flexibility, because I don't have to be in a class at a certain time. Um, sometimes you'll have to meet with your group online at a certain time, but you set those times with your group members that what works for you. The university's leadership is embracing new technology to keep costs down and improve education. We have used online education creatively here on campus to expand capacity, to deepen the experience students have, and to reach more of them. And we've also begun to use the technology to take the university out. In 2000, this Mormon institution started a series of drastic steps to change from a two-year junior college to a four-year university, reaching more students with lower class sizes. It dropped high-cost intercollegiate sports, popular at other schools. It also doesn't pursue the high-profile research of other universities. Instead, it focuses on teaching and offering those on-campus experiences that cannot be replaced online. In order to compete with cheap MOOCs to attract students, Professor Henry Eyring says each school has to find its own DNA and exploit it. Each institution has got to make a focused decision you can no longer follow the pack. I mean, it was always hard to do, but at least uh, for a long time, you've been able to pretend that you're getting more like Harvard. Uh, what's, what's going to happen now is that schools will have to make clear choices about who they will try to serve and what advantages they will offer. For the first time in centuries, universities are facing external competition, but according to experts, it's the numbers of online students who are increasing by as much as 30% per year. Learning World, in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation.